teaching God's law. But the church ain't teaching God's law. The church is teaching us that God's laws are done away with. That, that the color of Christ don't matter. Right. No, everything in the Bible matters. That's right. We don't have the Old Testament to just look at it. Wait, 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 wait. They're teaching us the Bible. They don't teach the Bible. They read it, but they're not teaching us the true understanding of the Bible. That's right. If they were, the communities wouldn't look like they look. You got a church. You got a church. You drive through the city of Chicago. There's a church on just about every corner. Some of them are abandoned, but a lot it's a lot of churches in Chicago. And when you look at the communities surrounding that church, the, the communities in shambles, houses boarded up. That's because the churches are not teaching us the laws of God. Sebastian. So let me ask you a question. I asked the brothers, I asked the young brothers what they scared of. Because I guess it's a car riding around, brothers looking scared. I asked them what they scared of. The brothers like running, ducking, couple of them ran. So I'm like, what y'all scared of? So the point I'm trying to make, everybody in this community looks to be looking like, right? We all the same people, right? So why are we scared of each other? Why do I, why do I like hanging doubt? We doubt. We're walking down the street, we're looking over our shoulder, we think somebody out to get us. We think somebody out to get us. And it happens. It happens across the city of Chicago. Any drive-by shooting, hit it, all that, all that stuff. But you about to ask something. Let's read it. So this we back to Deuteronomy 28 with the curses. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. So it says, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. That's a curse. We the gods of the earth, but yet day in and day out, we gotta watch over our shoulder because we fear, we fear death. We fear being shot by a spray bullet. We fear being shot from by the cops. That's a curse. We're not supposed to be living like that. We actually the God, we actually we are the gods of this earth. This earth is ours. The earth was created for our sake. Get that in second Esther. This earth was created for us. But yet we living in the streets of Chicago, the streets of Detroit, for fear of our lives. We fear our lives day in and day out. We can't even go home without, we can't even go turn on the TV and turn on the news without seeing murder. And seeing babies murdered at two years old, six months old. That's not supposed to be happening. That's because we were turned against each other. Throughout history, throughout us being in slavery, we were stripped down, broken, and now we hate each other when we see each other. Why, why would you hate somebody that looked just like you? But then you got, you got, you know, as they are gentrifying the neighborhoods, what's happening? You got bike trails being created. And so-called white men are riding through the blocks. They ain't got no fear. But yet we look at each other and we quick sh shoot each other down. Right. Quick to jump one another. Right. We not supposed to live like that. Read that. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 55. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So this is the prophet Ezra talking to God. He said, you made the world for our sakes. Ezra is a prophet out of the Bible. Read. Verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. So Adam, out of Adam, all nations came from Adam. We all came from Adam. Read. Of him. Yep. Of him come we all. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Now notice, Ezra makes a distinction. Even though we all come from Adam, he said, also the people that you chose came from Adam. We are the people that he chose. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's Read. right. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast made us the world for our sake. So the world was made for us. 
we supposed to be ruling the earth. But as I showed y'all before, we're not ruling the earth because we are in the midst of sin. That's right. And I'm going to show y'all some of them sins. Read. And as for the other people which also come of Adam. So he said now for the other nations that come of Adam, that'll be your so-called white man, your so-called Japanese, your so-called uh, Arab. He said the other nations that also come of Adam, read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. He said what? They are nothing. God said the other nations are nothing. But yet we walk around like we nothing. We not supposed, this is a, that's a self-esteem booster right there. We are the greatest on the earth. That's Why right. do you think we dominate in sports? Because even in our captivity, we dominate everything we put our hands to. Because we are the best. That's right. We are the top nation. But yet, right now, we're not in that, in that status because we separated from our God. So what y'all learning right now is connecting y'all back to the true understanding of the Bible so that y'all can connect back to y'all God. That's right. Read. But to be unto like unto spittle. And he said that the other nations are like unto spittle. If you spit, when you spit, you care about that spit, spit come out your mouth, you go try to catch it. No, you let it go. He said the other nations are like unto spittle. The most high God don't care about no other nation. He care about us. That's why we go through what we go through. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So he said he, he, li he likened the abundance of the other nations as a drop that comes from a vessel. So if you imagine you had a bucket of water and you walking down the street. As drops pop out that bucket, you trying to catch them drops? No, you don't care. You gonna keep walking because you still got the you still got the bucket of water. That's how the most high God, that's how the most high God tributes us. We are his people. Read. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. So now, now the other people are lords over us and they devour us. That's why our communities are downtrodden. That's why we always get the shorty end of the stick. Because they have we are under them because we broke God's commandments. Is that it on that? Oh, verse 59. Uh, read that. If the world now be made for our sake. So now I just told y'all the world was made for us. So we got this same thought. Prayer. Okay. If the world was made for us, read. Why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? Why don't we possess an inheritance in this world? Why are we always at the bottom? But we, don't, we don't we don't come together we don't we don't primarily we don't keep the commandments that's right you're leviticus 19 and 17. no you know what get them uh hosea hosea because the reason the reason we in the position that we in like i said we don't keep god's commandments is it hosea 4? Hosea 4 because what go what goes on in our community what are some of the things killing, killing rape rape kidnaps kidnaps uh, drugs drugs Stealing. Now, now, are those, now, all the things that we name, are those things godly or ungodly? But how, how, do we, how do we know this is godly? We're going to show you some of those things. Because they, they all of those things that you name are ungodly. Those are all breaking God's commandments. Read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord. Ye children of Israel. So now this is the prophet Hosea. He said, hear ye the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. So the Lord has a controversy with us. That's why we are in the position that we has a controversy. He has an issue with the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He got the issue with, he got an issue with the black man and the black woman. Read. Because there is no truth. There's no truth. When you steal something, is that honest? When you lie, you're supposed to pay for it. Right. That, that shows you lack integrity. So he said, there's no truth amongst us. Read. Nor mercy. Nor mercy. What's mercy? 
sympathy. That's a, that's an example. You getting something, you getting what you don't deserve. That's what mercy is. You see mercy in the streets of Chicago? Nope, you did. If you if you you hit my car, I'm gonna come get you. You did something to my cousin, I'm get I'm at you. That's no mercy. We lack mercy as a people. Read. Nor knowledge of God in the land. There's no knowledge of God in our land. We just right. showed that with the image of Christ. Right. What's pushed in our communities that it, that Christ is a white man. Right. That's a lie, according to the Bible. Right. The Bible don't tell us that. There's no knowledge of God amongst our people. And what really that knowledge of God is going into is his laws. We do not know God's laws. We go That's to the right. church, pay our tithes. We go to the Catholic church. We go to these places and pay our tithes and uh and pay our uh hoot and holler and all that. But you don't, we don't get the knowledge of God. That's right. Get that in Malachi. Malachi 2 and 7, just so we can see clearly what the knowledge of God is. Because the churches, the Christian church ain't teaching us the knowledge of God. The Christian churches is teaching us how to cool. Teacher, Christian churches is teaching us how to stay in captivity. To stay as the low, low of the, 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 the scum of the earth, so to say. The Bible is our history book. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta return to the Bible. We have to do what the Bible tell us to do. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge. So listen to that. It says the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Who's the priest today? The pastor, the Catholic priest. They're supposed to be teaching us knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. When we go to the church, we're supposed to be seeking God's law. But the church ain't teaching God's law. The church is teaching us that God's laws are done away with. That the color of Christ don't matter. Right. No, everything in the Bible matters. That's right. We don't have the Old Testament to just look at it. Wait, 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 wait. They don't teach us the Bible. They don't teach the Bible. They read it, but they're not teaching us the true understanding of the Bible. That's right. If they were, the communities wouldn't look like they look. You got a church. You got a church. When you drive through the city of Chicago, there's a church on just about every corner. Some of them are abandoned, but a lot it's a lot of churches in Chicago. And when you look at the communities surrounding that church, the, the communities in shambles, houses boarded up. That's because the churches are not teaching us the laws of God. Go back to that. Yes, we're on the west side of Chicago. But our information is on the flight. Uh, read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 2. By swearing and lying. By swearing and lying. I don't, what words are swearing? Swearing is more so going into, it's not going into curse, but it's talking about vowing. Man, I swear on my mama. Man, I swear to God, man. By lying. Lying. I swear I ain't do nothing like that. That's what it's talking about, making a vow that you ain't keep, that you're not gonna keep. You're saying you're gonna do something and you're not gonna do it. And you know you're not gonna do it. You have no intention of doing it. It said by swearing, remember we're reading, it says that the Lord has a controversy with us because of these things. For swearing and lying, read it on. And killing. And killing. What's going on in our community? Killing. Killing. Every time you look up, somebody getting murdered. Every it was just just what earlier this week, an off-duty police officer, a sister got shot. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what's going on in our neighborhood. Read on. And stealing. And stealing. We so talk about that. Running in the store and stealing. That's what happens. That's what happens in our community. But that's because we're not being guided. Right. We're not being guided according to the church. The church is the problem. Because the church is telling you, oh, you ain't got to keep God's laws. The laws are done away with. Christ did away with that. No, he didn't. That's why there's lawlessness in our community. Because the church is teaching us that we don't got to keep the commandments. So when we see in the Bible, we say, thou shalt not lie. 
oh, my test said we ain't got to do the old test. So what you think is going to stop you from lying? No, it's going to make you lie more. Is that it on that? Committing adultery. Committing adultery. What's adultery? Like adult stuff. Adultery. Adultery is when a man is married, but he's sleeping around with other women. Like cheating. Or women is sleeping around with oh, other men. Like so it don't count if you like commit it. I mean, like it's just your girlfriend. That's the, that's fornication. That's another. That's that's a, that's under the same banner, but it's called fornication. If you have sex before marriage, that's called fornication. So, We're not supposed to. That's why there's so many single parent householders in our community because we we are lawless. We don't think we. You, not, we, you married? Yes, I'm married. You're we think married. in our mind that we don't because automatically, yes, we all pass. Y'all under all of us are passed. Y'all, y'all learn this and y'all start keeping the commandments. You all are pastors too. Israel united in Christ. They break out and blood touches blood. He said they break out and blood touches blood. That's your GDs against the BDs. The GDs against the Latin Kings. That's right. That's the gang banging. Brothers shooting, up, shooting each other over a block that they don't even own. Right. Robbing, and, robbing, and killing each other with. When the government can come through at any day and say, hey, we need this house. We need you to move. You got to be out in 30 days. That's like, like, but we fighting over it. Right. That's what happened to them. They came and took how they, how they take it. So they came and took their land, and now they living on reservations in their own land. If, ain't that a curse? That's a bad thing. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.